And we are set to go. Breezy, cool night here in Jacksonville. The first pitch to Kendra Falby. It's a left-on-left -left matchup. Florida is 4-1, and one, Jacksonville 2-2. Two two. Falby, a weekly hit ground ball back to Harwood. And it's misplayed at first. It goes behind Harrigan at first. And Falby races out to second base, and the Gators are in business. As we look at the replay, what do you see here? Yeah, it's a good pickup by Harwood coming off the mound, and the throw's not really offline. I think just a little bit of nerves there. Hitters count for Wallace. The 3-1 is low and outside, ball four. Ducks on the pond for the Gators. Here's a well-hit ball up the middle. This one's going to get down. Center fielder can't find it. Two runs will score for the Gators. And for Jocelyn Erickson, it's a two RBI double, and Florida leads 2-0 here in the top of the first. Yeah, and if you'll see here on the replay, that ball just kind of gets sliced a little bit, so it's going to tail, and she gets a good jump, just loses her footing there. The 2-0 coming to Ava Brown. Down in the dirt, ball three, and runner Erickson will advance second to third. 20th pitch of the night is ball four. To try and see what the pitching is going to do differently. So Florida leads 2-0. Here's a ground ball to third. This is a tough play, but it's a play that's made by Braytech at third. A run does score to make it 3-0. So it's a sacrifice and a ground out there. Jacksonville trades a run for an out. Not a typical rotation you'll see, but I like it. It's something different. Here's a ground ball to short. It's not. It's mishandled, and Florida's going to score another run. That one just got right up the middle by Jazz Jones at shortstop, and Florida scores their fourth run of the first inning. The 1-0 pitch is way upstairs at hitter. Florida does a great job of turning over the lineup. This bottom lower third can get it back to the top of the order. Ground ball, Jazz Jones, nice play, and Jacksonville gets out of it, but Florida scores four in the first inning. But it's another thing when you come in the box not afraid to swing the bat you don't know what's going to happen unless you swing it off speed pitch we just told you that Ava Brown likes to mix, mix it up and she goes off speed upstairs how they work for you and how you manufacture those outs high fly ball off the bat of Harrigan it's going to stay in the park a shallow fly ball to left by Ashley Harwood and here's another bouncer back to the pitcher the second baseman will take it but no chance swing and a miss Stolen base opportunity, and she's out. Avery Harkis throws out Kendra Falby trying to steal second. Here's a look. You see there's a good jump there, but that throw just right on the money. Great throw. There's only a game one tonight, so. Swing and a miss and a strikeout for Ava Brown. Record-breaking career here in Jacksonville when she was here. Down low in the dirt on the 3-1, and Jacksonville draws a two-out walk. The 3-2 pitch. Ground ball to short. Skylar Wallace backhands. It's a tough play, and it won't be. Oh, they called her out. Wow. And this one gets away, and it's going to hit her. The 1-0 pitch. This one smoked down the third base line. Fair. This could be and will be extra bases. The cutoff throw at third not made, but... Runners will remain at second and third, and that was a bullet double down the line by Reagan Walsh. Here's a high fly ball. Allison coming in, and she will make the catch in right field. Carter records the out. The Gators strand two. Here's a base hit to left. Robles finds the gap between third base and left field, and she serves it into left for a base hit for Jacksonville. The 2-2 pitch, strike three call, the backwards K for Ava Brown. Jacksonville playing here tonight and then going to Gainesville tomorrow. This one in the dirt, throw down to second, and they're going to have the runner hung up between first and second, and she's tagged out. Gabby Robles is tagged out between first and second. And there's the replay. Two outs, bases clean, the 2-2 pitch outside. And that is ball four. Throwing error by Ashley Harwood in the first inning. One, two, this one right back to Brown. A hopper back to the pitcher, and that'll be easy work for Ava Brown. Jacksonville leaves one stranded. Three nothing to count. And there is ball four. And that's tough on any pitcher. And here's a slap hitter type of base hit right there for Kendra Falby. She just serves that one into the left field gap for a base hit. 
Otis will put down a bunt to try to advance the runners, and everybody's safe. Pritchard did not have a play on Otis, running very hard down the first baseline, and now the bases are loaded for Florida here in the fourth. Bases loaded for one of the best players in the country. Ground ball, base hit to right. This will get in one, maybe two. Second run comes home, and she will score standing. It's an RBI double for Skyler Wallace, and the Florida Gators lead 6-0 here against the Dolphins in Jacksonville. Puts the sixth run on the board. And that ball just punched right through the gap there in the 3-4 hole. Just a good piece of situational hitting to get runs across the board. And this one gets away at home plate. Throw down is in time. Nice job by Avery Harkis to get it back to Harp at home. Here's another look at the replay. And Harp here being a defensive pitcher and gets there just in time and Keeps the ball in the glove. That is the key on a pass ball. So Erickson remains at the plate. The 2-2 count is a pop fly. Carter coming in from right. She makes the play. Throw to home is going to be not in time. A head first slide for Skylar Wallace. And the Gators lead 7-0 here in the fourth. So a violation on Brown that time. It's 2-1. Ground ball to shortstop. It's going to get through. Braytek thought she might have had a play on it. Would have been a backhand try for Jazz Jones at short, but it's a base hit. Play and the conversation is being athletic. 2-2 two -two pitch hit into center. Braytech has it measured for out number three. Here's the 1-2, swing and a miss. And Ava Brown records a strikeout and gets the Gators out of the inning. Here's the pitch to Walsh, and that's ball four. 3-2 pitch, here it comes again. This one hit into left and caught. Robles makes a dive and catch for Jacksonville. Nice play coming in on it, and here's the replay. Robles tracks this one, measures it in left. That's a great play. And that's left a fielder. hard hit ball, too, there yeah. off on a line. By Avery Harkis trying to steal second. Also reached on an error, and now she's going to reach again. She's hit by a pitch. Shelby Harp working on her 31st pitch. Here it is. This one hit up the middle, but caught. Maddie Reynolds comes over. Shallow single to left by Robles. Here's a ground ball to first, and that'll be put away for the Gators with 67 hits last year. Here's a sharply hit ground ball to Reynolds at second. She can't find it. Runner at first for Florida, one out. Runner going, throw down from Harkis, not in time. Three and one the count, ground ball to third. Braytech looks back Wallace and fires a seed to first. Throw back to third and she's safe. A head first slide going from second to third by Wallace. 1-0 pitch to Goddard and this one hit her on the elbow. The count is now full. Here it is, the 3-2 pitch. Well hit to deep center field off the bat of Walsh. This one's going to carry out of here for a home run. Reagan Walsh has gone three for three tonight for the Gators. And she blasts a two-run homer out to center field. That was a belted home run ball off the bat of Walsh, and here's another look. And that ball just completely off the barrel, and it's going right off the bat. You already know it's going over. No runs, one hit for Jacksonville. Two errors in the field tonight for the Dolphins. Here's a hard-hit ball. Kaylee Harrigan squeezes it at first for the final out. So here's what we were explaining to you moments ago, the eight-run rule in college softball. She'll be declared by the plate umpire if one team is ahead by eight or more runs after five or more equal innings. And so the equal innings part is JU being the home team, they'll finish out the six to give them their chance. Strike three called a backwards K for Ava Brown. She's focusing on this next pitch. Three-two pitch off the plate. She draws a walk. What an at-bat right there by Maddie Braytek. The pitch popped up. Let's see if it'll stay in play, and it will. Catcher makes the play. Jocelyn Erickson records the out right in front of the netting behind home plate, and that'll be it. The final out recorded by Jocelyn Erickson, and it's a 10-0 shutout for Ava Brown. She goes the complete game, 10-0 the final. The Florida Gators knock off Jacksonville to improve to 29-0 all-time against Jacksonville.